Welcome back everyone. My name is Kamala. Today we're going to move on up and give an overview of our 20 kilowatt hour battery packs. The VPS 2012 has a 12 kilowatt inverter and paired with a VPS electric cart, the unit can easily be transported to difficult locations for powering low level lighting, rigging, cranes, and more. Keeping things extremely consistent, on the sides you have your D-rings. These again are for tie down only. If you want to lift the unit, you have your removable forklift pockets underneath. As well on the sides, you have your air intake vents. Always make sure these are kept clear so that the unit has proper airflow throughout. Coming around to the front of the unit, same as the 10 kilowatt hour, everything that you need for operation is right on the front, easy to access, and it all is completely weatherproof. At the top, we have your e-stop, which is very important that you only ever use this for emergencies. It is going to disconnect any inputs and outputs from the unit. And then coming over, you have your USB chargers, pretty standard two ports there, as well as your on button, your inverter on and off, and your touchscreen. Now looking at your input output panel, you have a few different options. Each of them are gonna be on their individual circuit breakers. Connection panel on the system is customizable to your needs. On the base model for charging, you have your 50 amp, 240 volt input cam locks and your 240 volt level two EV charger port. And then for outputs, you have your 50 amp, 240 volt cam locks as well as your 120 volt Joy and Edison connectors. Ending points. At the bottom left, we have our auto generator start receptacle again, which as I mentioned in our last video, will automatically start up an auto start compatible generator to charge itself up. This connector is standard in all VPS units to allow for hybrid capabilities. Operation of this system is the exact same as the 10 kilowatt hour battery pack, where you're going to want to hold on the power button, a splash screen will come on before the home screen shows, and then the system is fully operational. Your touch screen is also going to show you the output current and output power. There is a ton more information that these touchscreens have, but we're gonna save that for another episode and dive in much deeper. When powering loads is the same as the operation with the VPS 10 kilowatt hour. You're gonna plug in your load to your receptacles. Today, I'm just using the Edison's. And then once everything's plugged in, you can go ahead and plug your inverter on and off. A solid green light means that your inverter is outputting and you can see in the discharge time here, how long you will be able to power that load at that output. When you're all done, turn off power to your load and then you just turn off your inverter button, which will no longer be illuminated green when it is no longer outputting power. Turning off the units completely will turn off any communication to your remote monitoring system like your GPS. So that is done at the discretion of the rental companies. Now you have an overview of how to operate our VPS 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. The units are only gonna get bigger from here, so make sure that you stay tuned for our next episodes.